Okay, so let's have this one, the operation of functions. So we have two functions given, the function f and the function g. So we have the f of x and the g of x. Then solve for this uh, given. So this equation is equal to f of x plus the g of x. Then uh, substitute the value. So for f of x, we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 3. Then uh, plus, so the g of x, that's 3x plus uh, 5. Then you simplify by combining the like terms. So we have 2x and 3x. So this one is uh, 5x. Then 3x, a uh, negative 3 plus 5, it's positive 2. So this is the sum of these two functions. So another problem. So this equation, that's equal to g of 2, then minus the f of 2. Then you uh, substitute for g of 2, we're going to use the g of x function, but x is equal to 2. So you just have to substitute, so 3 times 2, then uh, plus 5. Now uh, take note that for subtraction, you need to put your last function or second function inside the parentheses so then uh, substitute f of 2 from the f of x but x is 2 so 2 times 2 squared then 2 times 2 minus 3 then you simplify so this 3 times 2 is 6 then plus 5 minus so 2 squared is 4 times 2 that's 8 plus 2 times 2 it's 4, then minus 3. So we have now uh, 6 plus 5, that's 11, minus uh, 8 plus 4, 12, minus 3, that's 9. So therefore, this given is equal to positive 2, because 11 minus 9 is 2. So another problem, so this equation... Uh, is equal to f of negative 1 then times the g of negative 1. So in this given, our x is equal to negative 1, so we just have to substitute. But since this one is a multiplication, so we need to put the two functions inside the parentheses. So for f of x, that's 2 times negative 1 squared plus 2 times uh, negative 1 then minus 3. Then for the second uh, function, so 3 times negative 1, then plus uh, 5, then you simplify, so negative 1 squared is positive 1 times 2, it's positive 2, then 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2, then minus 3, then times negative 1 times 3, it's negative 3, then plus 5. So simplify 2 minus 2, that's 0, or that's negative 3. And this one, negative 3 plus 5, that's a positive 2. And negative 3 times 2, it's negative 6. So for this problem, the answer is negative 6. Now how about this one, the quotient. So this equation is equal to g of 3 over the f of 3. Then you substitute. Now take note that your x now is equal to uh, 3. So from the g of x, so 3 times 3, so plus 5. Then for f of x, 2 times uh, 3 squared plus 2 times 3, then minus 3. Then you uh, simplify. So this 3 times 3, it's 9 plus 5. Then for the denominator, uh, 3 squared, that's 9, times 2, that's 18, plus uh, 2 times 3, that's 6, then minus uh, 3, okay? Then you uh, reduce, so 9 plus 5, that's 14, and 18 plus 6, 24, minus 3, it's 21. Now, this 14 over 21, 
can be reduced, divisible by 7. So reduce, so 14 divided by 7, that's 2. And 21 divided by 7, that's 3. So our final answer is 2 over 3. So this is all about the operation of a function.